Hey, what's up guys? I meant to tell you guys, this stuff here, the flea market stuff I showed you, this is not all the flea market stuff at all, but the reason I was showing this to you is, you come across stuff like this, well these shouldn't be in here, but um, you come across stuff like this all the time. Like these little men here, you'll get stuff like this on Craigslist free all day long. When you come across stuff like this, you have to, um, you have to get it, pile it up, and uh, lot it together that's how I do it and trust me just from that box there and these two boxes here and then mix see them three well you probably can't see it but it's three right a boxes stacked on top of each other those three boxes there once it's all said and done it's about a hundred dollars worth of stuff and I got it all free so that's how you got to do it lot it together just let it build up build up build up the same thing with the clothes and you wait to a time when the market really 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 wants clothes and the best time to uh, flood that market with clothing is, uh, well, with kids' clothing, is right before school starts. So keep that in mind. You see some shit on Craigslist that's free, like free bag of baby clothes, especially baby clothes. They sell like hotcakes. So keep that in mind, too. All right, I'm going to keep you all with me. And, hey, what's uh, going on, guys? Here I am again. I just wanted to show you guys, like, for instance, uh, I was talking about the uh, Ma and Pa coffee cups wanted to show you, excuse me for one moment, I forgot to take the little mini tripod off the bottom of the camera. Forgive me for that, guys. But the other day I showed on my phone, um, the eBay, and then I was showing Facebook on my computer. I should have did it the other way around. But, I hope you guys can see that. See the 250 Monster Energy pool tabs? That was on uh, the 11th. These last three items here... This is very important, guys, because you see the date. They paid on the 11th, they paid on the 10th, they paid on the 9th. And if you look now, it is the 13th. But I've already been in contact with these guys, because I had court today for the stuff that's going on with me and my girlfriend. And um, everything went fine with that. But uh, I let them know that I, ordinarily I would have shipped it within 24 to 48 hours, but I had you know different things going on. I didn't tell them about court or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to ship these items today. Uh, the 250 monster tabs and all that but as you can see they sold for 1958 I hope you can see that see 1958 and I charged ten dollars shipping it's only gonna cost me five bucks to ship them and then you got the vintage Ma and Paul cups 24 bucks they sold for ten dollars shipping um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna ship those yet but uh, and also the Alex Jones Infowars bumper stickers I sell those for 250 a piece okay I want to go up a little bit I'll go down just a pinch to show you some of the other stuff. This antique, well, for one thing, the World War II letters, I paid like a buck for all those. And uh, I sold 17 of them for thirty ninety eight free shipping. I still have like 30 or 40 more. I have the uh, antique stained glass, um, that lampshade, like the funky 70s style. I sold that for fifty four fifty five. dollars um, That's been shipped. The letter's been shipped. Um... The Nintendo game sold for forty-two dollars. They went, they got shipped to France, so that's why the shipping was thirty bucks. But I paid twenty-five dollars for all the Nintendo games, but they also came in a Nintendo carrying case. So I still have the carrying case. The games already paid for themselves, and um, I'm going to sell that case to a friend of mine for thirty bucks. So I'm definitely getting my money back on that. Here's the All-Star jersey. I just wanted to show you guys that I do sell stuff. See, see the dates. That's all April, April. April, April. I just wanted to let you guys know that I do sell stuff because some people get on here and some of these guys don't probably don't even have eBay's. It's crazy. But um, let me get over here real quick. There's the monster tabs right there. Each one of those piles is 25. It's a pile of 25, and then I gave him one extra because I told him I had some stuff going on and I couldn't ship till Monday, which is today because of court and all that other crazy stuff and I didn't have the car but uh, he was really cool about it so I sent them 10 extra so I sent them 260 and then I still got these over here I got the uh, colored ones here and then I got the green ones which are the most popular and I have this here I take pictures of this sometimes 
and I'll put it in my listing as it just shows you what you can get a book bag for 60 tabs a t-shirt for 30 a uh, hoodie for 75 and then I've been saving those but I don't drink a whole lot of soda but they'll slowly but surely get built up and uh, there's the mom and Paul cups I have to wrap those up and get them together now these Infowars bumper stickers um, I sent Juan Santana some of these but uh, I got these they had a thing going on on the internet the first I think it was the first I don't know, first hundred people or whatever that sent in their information to Alex Jones got, uh, how many was it? I don't know, it was like a hundred or something. Fif was it, oh, it was 50, I'm sorry. It was 50 um, bumper stickers. Um, if you were in the first batch of people to get it, you got it for free. So I sent away for them real quick when I first saw that, and I got the 50 bumper stickers for free. Alex Jones is popular, guys. He's really popular. So what I did was... I started selling these for $2.50 a piece. <laughs> and that's what I do. I mean, you got to be a hustler, man. It's just another thing that is an opportunity. I saw an opportunity to make some money, and uh, I, I had to jump on it. It's 100 bucks. It's 100 free dollars. So stuff like that, guys, you got to get on it, baby. But um, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, since I made these people wait an extra day or two, it's, I sent him 10 extra monster tabs. I'm going to send him an extra coffee mug. And then, as you can see, this guy bought two bumper stickers, but this is what I'm sending him. I'm sending him two, four, five. I'm sending him seven. So, that's that. And there's the boxes there. I'm going to ship them out and everything. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to prove to you guys that I even have a damn eBay account. But my feedback score is only 110, but I am a power seller, and I'm trying to keep that going. You know what I mean? Um, I, I want to get top rated. But I can't get in there to change my uh, shipping time. That's the only thing stopping me from being a top-rated seller is changing the shipping time to one day. And some of them listings you can't change. So it's crazy. It's crazy that you can't uh, change the shipping time back. And there's my baby right there, guys. Check that thing out. That chessboard is absolutely gorgeous. And then I got these pimp cups. I got these at an estate sale. Uh, these things are beautiful. I don't know if that's real silver or not, and I don't have a test kit, but I thought these things were beautiful. They're really heavy, and uh, that thing there, I got that. Matter of fact, I got this, the uh, cigar box. I got that at uh, the flea market. Got this thing here. Amy bought that. Got that for two bucks, and then these little bottles. These are, I, th I believe I had them in a the video. But it talks about, I'm, I'm sorry, it's medicine bottles from a, a Baltimore company. But I just like the way it looks. And sitting up there on a the wall like that, I'm not the best designer, but I try to make it look okay. So that's what it is, guys. There's the bumper stickers. There's the coffee mugs. I have a few auctions ending. So uh, hopefully some of that stuff will sell as well. And, uh, oh yeah, BTW. I bought a pair of Jordan 8s. Now, I sell to my friends too, guys. I don't just sell to strangers. And um, I got those Jordan 8s for 20 bucks, but they were size 13. I listed them on eBay for 174 and they did not sell. Hold on for a second here. I was just, uh, I'll have to show you guys. I put pictures of them up on my Facebook page. So go to my Facebook page and you can see them. But they were size 13. Um, they're brand new. They still had the box and everything. And them Jordan 8s are expensive. But while I was at the cookout yesterday, this is another thing about the hustler sense. I'm at the cookout, and that, that video I uploaded of a real big black dude that was racing, that's Ty. He's like 6'6". He's freaking huge. And uh, I started looking at his feet like, yo, hmm, I think I might be able to sell them, sell them Jordans. And I'm not going to sell them to him. Anytime I sell to friends, guys, I try to sell for no more than two to three times what I paid for the item. So I paid 20 bucks for the Jordans, I sold them to tie for 60 And I'll take that return all day long. And another thing was, I ended up working out a deal with him. He wears size 40 waist, 34 length pants. So what I'm going to do from now on is, I'm going to pick up pants for him when I'm out and about. Like uh, Ralph Lauren or different higher end name brands, Levi's or whatever. And I'll sell them to him for like 12 to 15 bucks a pair, regardless of what I pay. So that's just the hustler sense, guys. I was at a cookout. I was chilling on Mother's Day, but the wheels were always turning. It's like, boom, how can I get rid of this? How can I do this? How can I do this? It's how you got to be, guys. 
And while I was at the cookout, um, the guy that bought the monster tabs here, he hadn't paid yet. But he ended up paying while I was at the cookout. And um, then I got the 60 bucks from Ty. So I made 60, I made like over 90 bucks sitting at a cookout. I mean, it's awesome. And I, minus the monster tabs, I wouldn't have made that extra money. Plus, I got a new connection for, you know, selling jeans to somebody. So, that's how you got to be, guys. Always have your hustler hat on. Um, e even when you're not...